Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another episode. As you can see by the title of today's episode, we're going to be talking about what I hate most about being a CRA. What are some things that I hate most about being a clinical research associate? Now, a lot of you guys are interested in being a CRA one day, or already CRAs, so you can relate to this. Um, so this person emailed in. Now, if you have a question or just want to chat, you can email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. If you're interested in a resume review or career consultation or interview preparation, you can email me there as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. This person emails in. Hi, I'm a third year pharmacy student and a marketing intern in a global pharma company in Istanbul, Turkey. Man, I love having people that listen to this from all over the world. It's amazing. Um, I've been subscribed and been watching your videos for quite some time now. And I wanted to ask a question that I couldn't find answered in the videos. I wanted to know, what are the things you love the most and the things you hate the most about your past slash current job, and maybe also clinical research in general? So I'm actually gonna break this que this question up into a couple videos here, just because um, you know there's a lot in that goes into it. So they basically asked why what I hate the most about being a CRA. And um, I'll, t I'll talk about current uh, past jobs in a different video. But what, what are I things I hate most about being a CRA? Um, there's not a lot of things I hate about being a CRA, especially when I look at it objectively and I look back on some of the past jobs I've had, um, you know, project specialist, in-house CRA, um, that's pretty much it in, t in this industry. Um, pr previous jobs before that, I was a medical school, hated that, um, you know, lifeguard, uh, research assistant didn't really dislike those too much. So, so really, I haven't had a lot of jobs that I've hated. Um, but the things I hate about being a CRA, if I had to name something, is when you're not traveling for a while, let's say a couple weeks, um, people start being on you. They start reaching out for discrepancies. They start reaching out for various little things they want you to check up on. When you're on the road and you're, you have a busy schedule, they leave you alone. Management leaves you alone. People leave you alone because they know you're not going to respond. Um, people just leave you alone. And what's crazy is when you're on the road for these weeks at a time, they figure out the answers themselves. They figure out how to work the problem or figure out the, the answer themselves. It's just crazy when, you know... It's just, it's just crazy when, you know, you're not. They suddenly have to ask you. So that's one thing I hate about being a CRA, I guess, is when you're not on the road, you know, you don't have that same level of freedom and flexibility, um, you know, that you normally have because um, most people are, you know, trying to hit you up when you're not on the road. Um, so that's one thing I hate about being a CRA. Let's think about anything else that irritates me. No, don't have meeting minutes. Um, No, no, not really. I mean, there's other things that are going to come up because of the job, you know, little annoyances like study coordinators are busy when you call or sometimes you may go to a site and the study coordinator is super, super busy and doesn't have time for you. That's a pet peeve. But again, most of the sites are great. They roll out the red carpet for you. They, you know, they have time for you, things of that nature. So it's just the very few who do that. So it's not really a widespread concern there. Um. Some people may say the amount of time, it's a lifestyle role. So I can't really complain about the amount of time. It's not like it's a nine to five type of job. Um, you know, it's nice sometimes when you're home and, you know, I work a couple hours a day and that's it. Um, it's all, but, you know, you make up for it on the road because, you know, you're traveling. You may get home 12, one o'clock at night. Um, like for example, I've got to visit in a few weeks. That's about an hour and a half away. So I've got to drive. Um, so I could, you know, wake up super early in the morning, like five o'clock and get there in time, or I can go in the day before, enjoy a nice little leisurely, you know, romp around the city and, uh, then go in for the visit. So it just depends, but overall, I don't really hate anything about being a CRA. I've got to be honest, other than, other than what I mentioned so far. So thanks for this question. Email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com if you have any other concerns. Take care, guys.